Hey, 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 beautiful souls. I hope that you are doing good. So this is just like a little bit of an update and a rally for you guys' support. So I don't know how many of you know that um, in 2011, I got hit by a Mitsubishi truck. I was a pedestrian. I was walking across the road on my lunch break at the prison. I worked as a careers advisor at prison. Uh, walking across the road on my lunch break and a Mitsubishi truck turned into me. I went on the bonnet, fell back down and my spine broke and my spinal cord got damaged. So they told me, the doctors told me, you'll never walk, never work and never have kids. That was like what they said to me. And it was the most horrific, horrific time of my life. Um, I was stuck in bed. I had to go into rehabilitation. But I got to this point, probably just about 28, 29, 30. I got to this point that I was like, I am existing rather than living and I need to get on. I need to move. So I did. I went to rehabilitation, they made me walk again. Um, you know, I've made so many leaps and bounds in my recovery that now I look back and I think, wow, what an incredible time. You, you, What an incredible gift that you are able to walk, that you are able to do these things, you know? Never work, I started my own business. Never walk, I walk now and never have kids. And we got blessed with our dear, dear little hunter. He's my miracle baby after all of that. You know, I was on opiate medication and everything. I had to get it off, get off it all um, so that we could have Hunter. And I did it. So now I'm looking back and I'm 36 years old and I feel like I am ready to give something back. Now, those of you that don't know me properly know that I am now the opposite end of the spectrum and a bit of a fitness fanatic. Reason why is because it's the only thing now that I'm not on medication. Uh, well, I'm on some medication, but not opiates. It's the only thing that helps my back, is fitness. So, whereas I am a terrible, terrible, terrible runner, I have decided to give something back to the community. And what that decision is, is for Great Ormond Street, which for those of you guys that are international, it is the children's charity in London. Um, and they are developing and creating a new cancer ward for little children, which just, it just eats me up inside, just breaks my heart. So what I've decided to do is a big feat for me after everything I've been through um, and for a wonderful, wonderful um, support for the, for the little babies is to run 26.2 miles throughout the whole of April. So not just a little bit, throughout the whole of April, 26.2 miles for raising money for the little babies of Great Ormond Street to get them some support for cancer. I am going to be getting a t-shirt and I am going to be updating you every single week with how my miles are doing. But if you wanted to sponsor me, your sponsorship would mean so, so, so much. Um, so if you're on Instagram and watching this, you can um, DM me and I'll send you the link for the sponsorship form. Um, it's done through Facebook. They have a Facebook do do sponsorship. Um, so if you wanted to um, get it, but you haven't got Facebook, you can just DM me again or uh, drop me an email, mrlovetarot at gmail.com and we can put it in my PayPal and I can transfer it over and send you proof that I've done that. So any help and support for this big lifetime goal that I am planning to achieve would be amazing and obviously it's for an excellent excellent cause um so yeah please please rally around me give me uh your support because i need it i am petrified i am petrified <laughs> but i'm ready and i want to give something back because i am so blessed to have the life that i have now unbelievably blessed and it is time to give something back and this will challenge me will probably hit like hell on my back but i'm gonna do it and I'm going to give something back to those kiddies. So for you guys as well, please drop me a message and sponsor me. Lots of love to you all. Um, and I'll speak to you soon. Ciao, ciao. Hello, sunshines and rainbows. I hope that you are doing super good. My hair is like wild today. I went out in the, um, in the garden with Hunter and it's just gone all like everywhere. Um, so yeah, scruffy, scruffy hair alert. So um, if you've just tapped in, tuned in, turned on and you've just tapped into the video, please go back and have a look um, at the start of the video because I talk about raising money for Great Ormond Street Charity, which is the children's cancer um, unit that they're creating um, in London. So I am doing a marathon over a month, um, so any support would be great. And I talk about what's happened in my life to lead me to this point as well. So do go back and check it out or follow us on Facebook or Instagram. It's just Mr. Love Tarot. 
Um, so that being said, I want to use some decks that are more cartoon based, which I don't normally do. Um, but because it's for the children of Great Ormond Street and you are going to have updates with me throughout the month. I'm sorry, but you are how I'm getting on. Um, one is the Hocus Pocus deck, which I think is this one. And this one is Disney Villains. Pick your deck. Ooh, we're going for cartoons. So we're going to do, are they going to contact you? And we're looking at you and your person. So how I work as a psychic medium is I connect up with uh, you, your guides, your person, which I'm just going to get into their energy now as I ask you to think of them. Um, I hear spirit as if they are standing right in front of me, talking to me as if I'm having a conversation with you. Um, and they tell me what we need to know. The cards are kind of just the tool. So psychic medium that uses the cards as a tool, working on the collective energy between you all um so let's get cracking and see think of your person for me why uh, are they going to contact you pretty fast reading today um i'm very very busy today it's just been one of those busy busy days <laughs> and you know it's halfway through the day and you, you ever have that when it gets halfway through the day and you feel like you haven't achieved anything apart from standing in the garden in front of letting him run on the grass and um, yeah that <laughs> And then obviously trying to sort out the sponsorship as well for uh, for the run. <laughs> I'm petrified. Are they going to contact you? Are they going to contact you? Okay. So I'm going to start off with the overall outcome for you. And if you are looking for that one answer and don't want to watch the whole reading, the answer is yes, they will. They will contact you. I'm going to get a timing for you on the mutual energy. Spirit are saying about two a two so it could be two weeks two months the second of a month or two weeks from now two days from now um now that can always be quite a collective energy so if you want to look at individual timings i do do single questions for a ten or a question uh 10 gpp great british pound um and we can do that it's only a 24 hour turnaround time i do it over voice note as well so if you want to look at your individual timings we can do that Spirit are giving you a yes, they're going to contact you in a two. Now, let me explain the cards to you. Your cards aren't actually that horrific. So if you're feeling like it's all gone tits up, everything's absolutely wrong. Um, there is a bit of conflict in these cards and there is a little bit of chaos coming from confusion over the situation. But other than that, your cards are really, really good. So I've pulled six cards. Those of you that read tarot, you've got the Ace of Pants, the Ace of Wands, the Sun, the Two of Cups, the Seven of Cups and the Five of Wands. So let's start off with the, well, we kind of already said the outcome for you, so we'll go a bit more into it. Let's talk about these two cards, which are the more heavier energy in the deck. And these two cards, Spirit are saying, as I said to you from the start, confusion, uh, chaos from confusion. Your person is very confused about the situation and you have got this mirror effect going on, okay? So how you're feeling, your person is also feeling. You're gonna find that their behavior has left you feeling like you've got whiplash. It's a bit here, a bit there, a bit uncertain. Um, but but underneath it all, and I just got uh, the No Doubt song, You Really Love Me, underneath it all, there is a very strong energy here that you guys can work towards the future and that there is a true love energy. So what's happening that's causing this confusion? Let's have a look at that. What's causing confusion through the chaos and arguments through the chaos? What's causing that? So I'm just getting Poison by Alice Cooper. So those of you that don't know, Poison um, says your lips are venomous, Poison. Again, you have a mirroring energy. So if that doesn't resonate with you, it's going to be what, uh, sorry, if that doesn't resonate for your person, it's going to be what you are thinking about your person. So why is there confusion and conflict over this situation? Your person likes to keep a very logical mind on everything. And what's happened over here is that your person's caught real feels for you and because they've caught real feels for you they're feeling confused over it all so they've probably never had these emotions for anyone in the past they're probably unsure about what they want from the situation and that is what is causing this confliction this conflicting energy and also this chaotic energy so again like i said you're going to be feeling that you've got a bit of whiplash or a bit here and a bit there most of you guys, your person probably hasn't even left the picture. If they have gone ghost, you're lo probably looking at the timing of that two months that I said. If they haven't gone ghost and you're still kind of in contact, you'll be here in two hours, two days, two weeks. Okay, so the two coming up there. Your person has fallen in love with you with the two of cups. Okay, fallen in love with you, but they just aren't quite sure 
what to do about it because it's throwing them a bit, a bit of kill. Now with the full card as a clarifying energy over here, this is them going with the flow of it, okay? They're trying to keep, I just got the song Head Above Water, which I think was an Avril Lavigne, you're getting a playlist, that does happen. It happens a lot in private readings that you get a playlist from Spirit. Head Above Water, they're trying to keep their emotions in check, okay? So water always symbolizes emotions. Head Above Water is just kind of, you're stopping yourself from drowning from your emotions. Um, because they have these real feelings for you, they want to take their time with it and go with the flow of it, but there is hope that you guys will work it out. Ace of Wands, Eight of Pents over here. This is the emotional, uh, sorry, this is the passionate side of things and the stability. So passion and stability can lead to these new beginnings and these happy outcomes over here. So overall, are they going to contact you? Yes, in the not too distant future. They've fallen in love with you and that's why they're acting really stupid because they don't know how to keep these emotions in check and they feel like they're bobbing above the water not allowing their emotions to penetrate their heart at this moment because they're a bit panicky about it that's step number one pretty easy and um, so if you just uh watch that and you want to see the great ormond street fundraiser please have a look at the start you will get running updates throughout the month i am sorry in advance for all of you that are like i don't really want to watch that but it's really really important to me and i explained at the start my personal journey and why it's so important that we help these little kiddies get that new cancer ward so if you want to um donate I couldn't think of the word then. Uh, follow us on Facebook. I've put the fundraiser on there. Or if you're on Instagram, um, I can send you the link to the fundraiser. Um, also, if you don't have Facebook and you still want to um, donate, if I can remember the word, still want to sponsor and donate, um, we can do it over PayPal and I can put the money in for you. And then um, I can send you the receipt of that so you can see that it's gone, gone to the kiddies. I'm going to get a t-shirt as well. Oh God, I'm so nervous. I like, I'm so nervous. Okay, let's do deck number two. So if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on deck number two, right at the start of the video, I'm explaining about how I'm doing a fundraiser for Great Ormond Street Kiddies Hospital. And um, for those of you that don't know, a lot of the Peter Pan um, books and magic about all of that kind of went to Great Ormond Street Hospital. I think they have like a profit thing that comes in from Peter Pan still for the kiddies of Great Ormond Street. So I'm doing my bark kit bit to help and if you're interested in that you can go check it out at the start of the reading. So we're going into the collective energy of you guys and we are going to see is your person going to come to you. Now it's probably going to be quite a quick reading because it's normally a yes or a no um, but I will try and get a timing for you if spirit allow. Obviously if you want to look at personal timings we can do that on private reading. Um, I do do single questions for £10, 10 great British pounds a question. Um, I don't know what the currency rate of that is in uh, in America, actually, to be honest, but it's not too much. And it's a 24 hour, 48 hour turnaround. So if you want your individual timings, let me know. Give me a shout, mrclovetarot at gmail.com. I also have a website, mrclovetarot.com. In fact, everything is just Mr. Love Tarot. If you search for me, you're going to find everything about me. Okay, will they contact you? Will your person that you are thinking of contact you? Let's have a look, where are we go? I'm gonna link these two together. So, we've got the Eight of Pence. No, we haven't. Five, six, seven, yeah, we've got the Eight of Pence and we've got the Seven of Wands. Will they contact you? Those of you that read tarot, I'll just tell you the cards. Oh, this one is the Hocus, I'm not even sure which decks these are, which one's which. I think this is the Hocus Pocus one. It's got to be. The reason why I'm putting them back is because they're hand slipping. Um, I tend to just take the ones where it jumps out in one go. Will they contact you? Do -do -do -do. Okay. Right. So I'm going to do what I started off, what I did with deck number one. I'm going to give you the outcome before we go back in time and I'll tell you what leads to this outcome. So your overall outcome is a two of cups and judgment. OK, so those of you that are interested in the specific tarot, tarot cards. So this is talking about a resurrection of love. 
Okay, so your relationship with your person is going to have a second chance, a third chance, fourth chance, fifth chance, sixth chance, wherever you are with your person. So if they have vanished into the sunset no more and you are thinking that you are waiting from your knight in shining armour to come towards you, this is an indicator that it will happen. However, I want to point out with the eight of pens and the seven of wands, spirit are telling me that there could be delays in them getting in touch with you so it feels that they've got spooked from the situation that's what spirit's saying they're saying spooked and um, they've had a bit of a panic they have withdrawn pulled away and um, left you feeling that you don't know what's going on and it's like they have left the door open for you that's the door by the way those of you with the clairvoyance that was the door opening spirit making the door open they've left it open and it's kind of blowing in the wind as well okay so wind often symbolizes the mind energy and when spirit is saying the door's open but blowing in the wind this is saying that they they are thinking about the situation they've left the door open for the situation to come again and they haven't shut the door in it but it's blowing in the wind it's like they're going backwards and forwards in their thoughts and their feelings about the situation and getting in touch with you your person has got to realise what life is like without you in order for them to chase you, okay? At the moment, we've got the fall over here. They're going with the flow of it. Kind of similar cards to deck number one, actually. And you might be watching the same deck. You might watch deck number one and think, I'm going to watch deck number two too. And um, if you have, this is your energy as well. So they're going with the flow of the situation at the moment. They are going to get in touch with you out of the blue. So you are probably going to feel like nothing has happened, not much is going on. And then suddenly, bam, it's going to hit you like a thunderbolt of lightning with the seven of, one, uh, seven of ones over here. A thunderbolt of lightning coming down and hitting you like a boom because it's going to come out of nowhere. They are going to be, what's going to lead that? Why are you where you are at the moment? Well, there is this sense of self-defense going on. Your person's like, I've worked really hard for absolutely everything in my life. And you've come along and you've thrown me off kilt. And I don't really know what to do about that now. Um, so I've withdrawn, okay? You've basically turned the wheel a little bit upside down with the eight of pence and seven of wands. They are on self-defense. It could be that you've got close to them and they've backed away because they, fr they freaked out on it, getting spooked. And um, it could be that they're just in a bit of um, um, emotional immaturity or genuine, general immaturity. They're perhaps a bit of a party animal and they're like, I want to go out with the lads or the girls. Um, so that is where the withdrawal is kind of coming in. They're on the self-defense over it. But when we step into that future energy, there is that energy that they will get in contact with you. Now, I'm just pushing spirit for a timing on this and they're saying a three to six. So as your general energy, you are looking at the timings three to six. We are now in March, so it could be between March and June. It could also be the third of a month, three to six months, three to six weeks or something along those lines. So just remember those numbers when we come round again, that's your collective energy. Time is fluid and it can change, but right here, right now, as I do your cards, that is the timing that you are looking for. If you want to have a look at your situation individually, give me a shout, mrlovetarot at gmail.com. Um, I am around now. I am got spaces for video readings. Um, uh, email voice note readings are 24 hour to 48 hour turnaround um and they're a tenor of question uh, video readings like i said there is space for them if you if you want a book um i love your to pieces go check out the great ormond street funding uh thanks for bearing me such a quick reading today i uh, love you all lots and i will speak to you super super soon ciao bellas